Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. You know, sometimes these headlines, they write them, <laughs> they wrote themselves, don't they? Sometimes the scripts are handed to you on an absolute golden platter. Uh, and this is no different. Uh, something has happened uh, and it has, a report basically has been released. Um, and it says, it says that um, sewage discharge, uh, they, they talk about the sewage discharge across uh, the whole of Scotland. Um, and there's one particular place that is the worst. It tops the absolute league table in terms of the amount of uh, discharge that is emitted in this particular area. Um, and when I saw this, I just, I just laughed. I just went, well, I've got my next story. So here it goes, folks. Honestly, you couldn't make it up. So Humza Yousaf shamed as Glasgow Pollock constituency tops the sewage discharge league table. You honestly couldn't make it up. If I was writing these headlines myself, I wouldn't have come up with that one. I wouldn't have even thought of that one. A staggering 8.3 million cubic metres of sewage flowed into the waterways in the First Minister's constituency although he doesn't live there anyway, as he stays 80 miles away in posh Broughty Ferry. Now, I'm going to say now, 8.3 million cubic metres of sewage, and most of it spilling out of his mouth. It really is. You couldn't make it up. Glasgow Pollock is so awash with the utter flushings of all the crap that the SNP have done to Scotland over the years that it's his constituency. It couldn't be anyone else's. First Minister Hamza Yousaf at the top of a new SNP Green Sewage League table detailing the 10 ministers who constituencies or regions saw the greatest volume of sewage dumped in 2022. The table was compiled by the Scottish Liberal Democrats and unveiled by leader Alex Cole Hamilton. It reveals that a staggering 8.3 million cubic metres of sewage flowed into the waterways in the First Minister's Glasgow Pollock constituency last year. He is directly responsible for most of it. People see his uh, suggestions and they utterly crap themselves and have to flush and they're doing it so much. It's overwhelming the capability of the sewage system. It isn't. I'm laughing because it's funny and that's it. It couldn't be anyone else. It, honestly, it couldn't have been anyone else, could it? The Lib Dems want to highlight the failure of the SNP and Green Ministers to stamp out the huge volumes of sewage being discharged into rivers and burns across Scotland. Uh, the top 10 list also features uh, the uh, Pharmaceuticals and Alcohol Minister Elena Whitton, the Independence Minister Jamie Hebben and Health Secretary Michael Matheson, with hundreds of thousands of cubic metres of filth discharged into Holyrood from the... No, sorry, into the rivers and their areas. Uh, Ms Cole Hamilton said, Top Trump's just got utterly revolting. This one league table no minister wants to be part of. And yet there he is. There he is, the minister for sewage. The first minister. Yeah, the first in his first flush of office. You know, uh, he, he's he's draining the country. You know, oh, I can do this. Uh, anyway, people are really passionate about this topic. Uh -huh, really? And I think constituents of SNP and Green, Green MSPs would be shocked to know how much sewage is pouring into rivers and waterways in their area. Oh, it is, it, I mean, joking aside, it is an absolutely appalling thing, utterly disgusting. Um, and it just makes these rivers dead. It kills everything in them. You shouldn't be doing it. I mean, the only things that actually uh, do well in this kind of thing are the filter feeders like shrimps and clams and everything. And uh, then you go into a restaurant and you go, mm, these are particularly nice, you know, nom, 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 nom. Oh, they're very well fed. Believe you me, sir. They come from Clyde Bank, you know. Ooh. Anyway, the First Minister is currently out in front. Oh, I would have thought he'd be number two. Uh, with a whopping 8.2 million cubic metres of sewage pouring into, and indeed out of, his constituency, while the Minister for Independence and health, the Health Secretary are both vying for podium positions. You couldn't make it up, could you? Uh, I'm calling for legally binding targets for reducing sewage, a complete ban on dumping Scotland on Scotland's best beaches and the speeding up of efforts to upgrade Scotland's Victorian sewage network. Now, I will say, it's just another tangent time, uh, that the uh, the sewage system in this country 
owes virtually its entirety to one man. Uh, he was an engineer uh, and he uh, went by the wonderful name of Basilget. Now that's his surname, it's not Basilget, it was Basilget, that was his name. Uh, and he sort of sat there in London, it was in London there initially, uh, and he realised with the stench and the stink, because everything just got poured into the Thames. Uh, and he undertook what then was probably the largest civil engineering uh, contract or project, probably in the world ever. And, and he basically built London sewers from scratch uh, and cleaned up the city. Uh, it was, of course, the end of the, uh, the fleet. Um, it's completely covered now. Uh, I've paddled in the fleet, but I had to go down into the sewage system to do so. So actually the fleet is part of the sewage system. But anyway, so he, this guy, Basilget, he he done that and he took the crap out of London. Literally everything, he cleaned London up, fantastic. Uh, the cases of cholera reduced 99%, almost completely overnight. It was an immense undertaking, he'd done great work. His great-great-grandson uh, runs Endemol Television. And so while his great-great-grandfather took uh, all the crap out of our houses, uh, Endemol Television, owned by his great-great-grandson, insists on pouring it back in through the television screen. Uh, you know, just think the likes of Big Brother, for example. Um, so yeah, there we are. That's the same family. Isn't it great? But anyway, his his project that went on, and he uh, he oversaw Manchester and whatever, and he did it. And so all these big civil engineering schemes for for the Victorian uh, sewers, all down to that one man. Uh, he ended up getting, I think he became a knight. I don't think he got a lordship out of it, which I think is very weird. Anyway, uh, getting back with this, nearly done. Uh, sewage spilled into waterways a record 14,000 times in Scotland in 2022, amounting to a shocking 19,000 Olympic swimming pools for worth of wastewater. Um, you know, you wouldn't swim in it, that's for sure. But it's feared that this could be a massive underestimate. Uh, because underestimation, I think they mean to say there, but the lack of, you know, honestly, the, the, the journalists in this country today can barely string three words together. Uh, because just 4% of overflow points are meant mon monitored in Scotland compared to about 90% in England. So it's likely that that could only be maybe a quarter, maybe a quarter of all that was released. Isn't that sickening? Isn't that awful? Uh, Mary McCallan, who oversees sewage in her role as Net Zero and Just Transition Secretary, had 195 sewage spills in her Clydesdale constituency. It's people flushing down you know, every time they, they hear these people say, um, speak. Uh, a government spokesman said, we take sewage pollution incidents very seriously and work closely with SEPA and Scottish Water to reduce any impact. Of course they will. Um, but, you know, you, you just look at this league table. You just couldn't make it up. Uh, I'm not surprised to see Patrick Harvey up there. Um, he also spews an awful lot of it. And so, incidentally, does Lorna Slater. And she's eighth. Ah, oh, bless. So uh, the two green people uh, are responsible for quite a lot of crap between them. Say la vie. Nothing ever changes. Anyway, I shall round up and come up. So there you are. Honestly, you couldn't have made it up, could you? Number one at number twos. He really is. He's number one at number twos. And it couldn't have been anyone else. It really couldn't. I mean, there it is manna from heaven. It truly is. It is a gift, isn't it? It's just, people gift you this. You've got to run with it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you're seeing here on the channel, please do hit that subscribe button, ring the bell, leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, always flush, and never resist the urge to stool. And goodbye.